What's up people, Marco here, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Let's talk about alternate tuning. In this lesson, we're gonna take a look at the drop D tuning, which is beautiful and simple to use. Yes, indeed, because when you think about it, the drop D tuning is just like playing in standard tuning. So we have E, B, G, D, and A. But the low E string is tuned down to a D. And so if we play a D major chord, we can strum all the strings and we can add much more bass to the chord. Now it's very simple to tune your guitar in drop D, just lower the low E string a whole step down. What I usually do, I'll play D string open and I bring the low E string down uh, to match the D string. Of course, the, the D string, so the low D string is now one octave lower than the fourth string. And then of course, you wanna use the tuning to make sure that is perfectly in tune. Now let's start with the intro, which is mainly played with the top four strings. So we're not gonna play the low D string yet. And it sounds like this. mainly four chords. I'm always playing the D and the B string with fretted notes. The first one is the fret four, fret seven and fret seven. And I'm plucking the, the strings with the thumb and with the index. And then I will do the same thing on the G and the E string. And I'm gonna let the chord ring out. We do it four times. And then we're gonna move this position to the fret number five, and we do the same thing. We're just gonna play two times plus one time, and we let it ring out. So we have. Then we're gonna keep going down, and we have the fret number four and the fret number three. We're gonna do the same thing as position one. So we're gonna play it four times. finish with the G major chord which is going to be strummed uh, you know quietly with the low D string fret number five nothing on the A string and then the D the G and the B string open so I'm strumming slowly all the way up to the B string and you let it ring out so it's a nice little intro you can repeat it twice even though I like to jump um, you know, straight into the melody after I played it just one time. Make sure that you let the chords ring out and you can shake your guitar a little bit to add some vibrato. Now let's talk about the verse, which is played with the same chord progression, but we're also gonna add single notes. We're gonna add a nice and lovely melody. And we're gonna play it twice. The first time, it sounds like this. So we are combining chords and melody. Now we're gonna play the low D string, of course, with the thumb, and then we have the index on the D string and the ring finger on the B string. This is our first chord. Now we're gonna combine this chord with the melody. So we're gonna play the three strings simultaneously. Then we have the G and the E string with the index and the ring, and back to the D and the B string. And then we're gonna play the melody, which is played always on the B string, fret number eight, then the bass, fret number 10, twice, back to the fret number eight, and seven. So this is the melody. Now 
Now with the second chord, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna start with the fret number five. And we have the same arpeggio. And then we have the melody on the fret number seven and the fret number eight. This time though, when we play the melody on the fret number eight, we're also gonna add a chord to it. So we have the uh, fret number eight, and then also the D string fret number nine with the bass, the low D string. And as you can see, I like to arpeggiate the chord. I don't play the chord simultaneously, but I'm just slowly arpeggiating the chord. And I let this melody ring out, so. The next chord, pretty interesting. So we have the chord on the fret number four and three. We already learned that. We're gonna pluck uh, in the same way. So we have. And then the melody on the fret number five. Bass, seven, twice, five, and three. And we finish with the G major chord, which we're gonna strum, uh, strum slowly with the thumb, all the way up to the B string. Remember that I'm not playing the A string. And then the last three notes of a melody, which are played on the D string fret number seven, B string open, and the G string fret number six. So this is the first section played with the melody. The cool thing is that the second time we repeat the verse, we're gonna do more or less the same thing. We're gonna kind of change just a couple of notes. For example, with the first chord, So for the first chord, we're gonna add a few more notes. The melody is the same. But then we're gonna add the first string fret number 10, nine, and back to the B string fret number 10. And then we move on to the next chord, which is the same. Same thing for the third chord. The only difference is that now the G major chord, rather than just play it like this, we're gonna play it like this. So we're gonna have the melody going all the way up to the top E string, fret number seven. Of course, we have the fret number five, nothing, open, 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 and seven. And you let it ring out. Now let's talk about the chorus, which is my favorite section. It sounds beautiful and sweet, and it's overall really, really nice to play. And we can really appreciate how beautiful the drop D is because we have this additional, you know, kind of D string, this bass, uh, which is more prominent. And it's just a beautiful thing. So um, we're gonna start with the G major chord. Let me play the first two chords and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it. <laughs> So we're gonna open up with this G major chord, which is played with the D on the bass. So we have open, open, um, eight, and seven. And I'm strumming the strings with the thumb, lightly, then the bass, and then the melody on 12 and 10, always on the B and the E string. Then the bass, and back to eight and seven. It's such a sweet way to interpret this melody. Second chord, D major, we're gonna, you know, take advantage of this low D string, which sounds beautiful. And I'm playing the low D string, and then the fret number three and fret number two. Simultaneously, then the bass, seven and five, bass, and back to three, and two. So. Next one is the A sus4. So 
So we have just uh, three and zero. The bass note is now the A string. Bass, fret number eight on the B string, simultaneously with the E string open. Bass, and five and zero. And we finish with the B minor chord. Which is the uh, most challenging chord here. Uh, we need a bar chord. So it's two, five, and three. Bass, and then three and two on the B and the E string, or and the, in the E string. So bass, and the B, and the E string. So it's a little bit more challenging because of the bar chord. Then we do the same thing. But we're gonna add a little bit more notes, right? We always need, you know, a, a little bit of challenge here. So then we have the bass, and we're gonna use the D major scale um, in this position. We got 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7, and the E string open. Back to the D. So we're playing the same chord, then the bass, and then the melody on fret number seven, five, three, two, open, B string fret number three, and the E string open, and then the A, sus4. Which is quite simple, we play the chord, and then the melody after the bass, Three, two, open, three, two, three, and the E string open. And then the last chord, the B minor, which is just slightly different. Then the bass, and then we have the A over C sharp, which is played with the fret number four and fret number five. And we go back to the intro. Which we're gonna play, uh, you know, just one time the first chord with the bass this time. And the last chord, which is a beautiful D major seven played with the D string, the F sharp, the major third, and the major seventh, the C sharp on fret number seven, and the fret number nine and you let it ring out. 